हेलो अश्विनी हाय 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 यू वांट टू पुट योर पावर पॉइंट एंड सी हाउ इट इज आई आई शेयर द स्क्रीन व्हाट डू यू डू या यू शेयर इट्स मूविंग टू जॉइन हाँ वेरा योन डॉक्टर अश्विनी आई एम जस्ट प्लेइंग दिस वंस एंड देन वी कैन चेक योर्स आल्सो ओके ओके या those who are speaking please put your cameras on na students want to check you want to check yours dr karwande
Yes. Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. Yeah. So Very shall I shall yes. I put on my camera? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we can okay. see. Okay. And PowerPoint, uh, you will do that uh, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share screen. I'll go. You will allow me, na? That uh, permission is required, isn't it? Yeah, I allowed already. Okay. Okay. I made you the co-host. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. Recording in progress. Two minutes more and then we will one minute more actually. Why you will be coming now, na? So shall we begin in this three thirty?
Dr. Ashwini, can we begin? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, yeah. ma uh, so, welcome to this session on strategies and solutions for boosting mathematics learning series three. This is an initiative of St. Xavier's Institute of Education, which is now an autonomous B. Ed. College. The students of okay, mathematics ma pedagogy have taken this initiative of organizing these series of webinars for you. We hope that through these webinars, we are bringing in much change in the teaching learning of mathematics. And we hope to have some kind of collaboration with you and communicate on the whole form. We have also an email ID, which is mathslearning at sxie.in. We will also prefer that all the participants will take part in this venture so that we can help you reach your objectives and also improve the situation of mathematics teaching learning. With these words, I would like to like Samantha to introduce our resource person for today's evening. Ma'am will be speaking to us on constructivism in mathematics teaching learning. Over to Samantha. Thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce our resource person for the day, Dr. Ashwini Harde Karwande, Professor at the Department of Mathematics and Associate Professor at the Department of Mathematics, University of Mumbai, Kalina, Santa Cruz East. Ma'am has completed her MSc in Mathematics in 1994 and MED in 1997 from the University of Mumbai. Thereafter, Ma'am has cleared the set examination in education in 2002, thus becoming eligible to teach at the national level. Ma'am has also completed the postgraduate diploma in management of education in 2007, followed by PhD on the topic, effectiveness of constructivist approach in developing interest and achievement in mathematics among secondary school students in the year 2011 from University of Mumbai. With a teaching experience of over 22 years, Ma'am has conducted minor research in 2016 on the topic, a study on organizational justice and organizational culture as perceived by teachers on the basis of types of schools funded by University of Mumbai. Ma'am has been working as a research guide since 2012 where she has supervised successfully seven students who are awarded with PhD degree, six students who are awarded MPhil degree, and more than 65 MH students for their research dissertation. Some of the research areas covered under supervision are quality function deployment, activity-based learning, blended learning, constructivist approach, metacognition, mathematics anxiety, cognitive styles, etc. Ma'am's vast experience in the field of education has led her to publish three books and more than 50 research papers, articles in reputed journals, edited books, and conference proceedings. Ma'am has also designed a course learning material for Mumbai and SNDT universities and has created courses on Moodle MU LMS. Ma'am is a committee member for syllabus revision at MED MPhil level a member of admission committee for MED, PhD, and various courses at the Department of Education, and is also a member of Board of Studies in Education at PTVA Sati College, Parle East. Moreover, MAM is an IQAC coordinator at the Department of Education since 2017. MAM has organized various seminars and workshops and participated and presented papers in national and international levels. Furthermore, Ma'am has also been invited as subject expert in research advisory committee, research project evaluator, VC nominee, and resource person. We are extremely honored to have such an eminent personality as our resource person for today. Ma'am, we heartily welcome you to the webinar. Uh, thank you, Samantha, for this brief introduction and very uh, uh, in a very lucid manner. Uh, um, Dr. Vini, shall I uh, begin or? Yes, yes, you can begin now. And okay. one slight uh, note to the participants. Uh, please keep your microphones off. If you have any questions, you can write it in the chat. 
and i have seen uh, one ankita she said it's not audible ankita is it audible now ankita can you hear me now so ankita has some problem so maybe ankita you can check your internet okay i think it is audible for everybody okay ma'am you can begin okay uh, so uh... Uh, so, as Samantha has already introduced, just would like to make some correction that she has introduced me as a professor at Department of Mathematics. Um, I am not a mathematics professor. I was uh, I have completed my MS in mathematics, but working with Department of Education. Uh, that was a very uh, uh, this much what I wanted to say. Okay, regarding the constructivism in mathematics teaching, this is a topic which is uh, very uh, dear to me. I was teaching in schools for many years, almost more than five years. I was teaching uh, mathematics uh, to the school going uh, from fifth to 10th standard. And I came across with the uh, varied experiences about the, uh, the students and their issues and the, what basically they are facing. So let us come with the, and that is the actually uh, what I have, uh, which has uh, made me to undertake the topic for even for my PhD related to the mathematics teaching and learning uh, using constructivist approach. So let us begin with some uh, uh, some uh, one slide. And this is regarding the, can you see this? Uh, okay. Uh, so tell me, uh, okay, uh, can you see this slide? Yeah, at least one participant. Yes, we can see it. Yeah. Okay. So regarding this uh, slide, tell me which of the figures are showing the one by three, uh, the one by three as a fraction number. Which of the figures? B. Okay. Giving me one by three as a figure. B. B. D or B. B, B. B, B for boy. Okay, B. Fine. Which else? Anything else? G. Okay. Yes. G. You may put it in your chat box also if you wish to. B, G, okay. What else? F. F. Is, is the question clear to all of you? Which of these, from these, which of the figures showing me one by three? One by three or uh, a fraction showing one by three. Okay. So I got the answers as B, G, uh, uh, B, G, F, what else? And so these three figures. Okay, what about the other figures? And why, uh, you know, what, what about the other figures that you would like to see? Sorry. Yes, so in this case, can anybody uh, uh, tell me why these figures only B, G, and F, and uh, not others? That is A, C, E, D. Why not? Why not they? Now, this is the way we can start with the students. I'm not testing you for, for fine. Those who have given me the answers as B, G, and F. Uh, I cannot, uh, I'll just quickly check the chat box. Others are not proportional. They are all symmetrical, okay. Okay. Um, they have equal sides relatively, okay. Not equal part in others, fine. Please repeat question, okay. Uh, yeah. So the other figures are not, yes, some of you are given the uh, right answer. So other figures are not, uh, 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 showing a concept of the, the fraction one by three because whenever we speak about the fractions, the students are not 
very clear what is the i mean they get confused with the number that is 1 by 3 the concept of fraction is really confusing for the students so such type of figures if you put them they are already aware with the number of 1 by 3 they are already aware about, about the a concept of maybe concept related to the three but the three means here the three equal parts and fraction is nothing but the whole of equals okay you are dividing the whole into equal parts and each part is is equal and the the number which is at the denominator is dividing the figure into three equal parts okay so number of parts divided by Uh, sorry the the whole whatever may be the figure into equal parts maybe 3 maybe 4 so when you ask a student to shade 1 by 3 from these figures the students go on shading it a c uh, even the figures like b everywhere they start shading to some extent even h is also symmetric i find the three or uh, well, no they are little so they start shading it but you can clear this concept using that ki no in in fraction the parts is divided with in and each part is equal so with this you can go with the simple concept like fraction uh, why i am going with the fraction because fraction i'll show you now later on the concept of related to fraction uh, the fraction is a concept which is uh, connected with the many various other concepts also other components of uh, from uh, the topics from the mathematics also and that is why we go we are going with the basic concept like fraction and students do not understand the the they get confused with the word fraction and the word uh, the, and the number fraction okay they are not uh, they cannot sometimes relate to it the, what is the uh, how the 1 by 3 looks or how it is what is the meaning of all this 1 upon 2 upon mixed fraction proper improper fractions whatever may be so i have started with the this of uh, the concept fraction we will come across with the other things also so uh, uh, so let me then once you are clear with this then you can give such type of figures also where the students are these are not uh, regular figures or they are not polygons type of they are, do not have any angles but they are free uh, design type of figures and you can ask them to make it into two equal parts or whatever possible equal parts Uh, so suppose the figure e is there which can be divided into five equal parts so let them use their mind let let them think uh, in this figure can be divided equally in how many parts okay such type of exercise may activate them to think in a different manner and come to the our original concept that is that is a fraction and then then go on adding the uh, the newer topics newer uh, concepts related to fraction and it is build the edifice on that, based on that so such type of things are there now the just a jokes in between to just to boost to this is the joke which is saying that you are telling me it will take 13 years the child the student is saying to install my education what kind of outdated software is this school using now what is your reaction what do you think yes okay so here the student is telling that uh, so we can see the 21st century generation students they are not ready to listen uh, uh, they are not ready to uh, concentrate for the longer time and they want everything in a uh, in a very quick quick, quick, quick manner and they are not uh, they do not have that patience to listen to understand they want everything very quickly so these are the smart students that we have uh, so we have smart students in the class and we being teacher need to be very smart now let us come to the concept of concept now what this figure is telling you about what is happening please you can uh, unmute yourself and speak to me so that i can uh, understand that uh, uh, i mean if you uh, dr vini is it allowed Yes, yes, sure. Okay. Again, so the students may you please uh, explain what is this figure talk about? Anybody, or you may write it in the chat box also. Saira Khan has raised her hand. Saira, you can just unmute yourself and speak. Yeah, yeah, directly you can uh, speak. What is? Uh, what do you understand by this figure? Very simple figure. There is nothing uh, uh, complicated. I feel so. so you may say 
Aira and Preeti, Shashi Kumar, please unmute. Please, please unmute yourself immediately and you can start saying, uh, speak about this. Okay, I don't know why you can't unmute yourself. Okay, it's a I one-way process. Okay, it's uh, it's a transfer of knowledge. Fine, I can see the chats. I'm reading the chats. So you can see that it's a transfer of knowledge. It's a one-way process. The students are, I mean, here the teacher, you can consider the, uh, 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 no, uh, this, uh, the bigger, bigger person as a teacher who is highly knowledgeable because that cap of graduation is put it on his head and he is pouring, he is just saying and he's pouring all the information to the, uh, the in the student's brain, the brain. So whether the child is understanding or not understanding, it's not conveyed or it's not a, it's not a two-way process. As somebody said, it's a one-way process. Learning would not occur, occur in this class. So simply pouring in the traditional way, that is the, that is the thing which is uh, related to the learning. That is direct teaching is going with the, learning so it's is it is it true it's not true as some of you are uh, uh, already mentioned that this is in this way the learning cannot take place uh, so importance of mathematics all of us we know and since it's a very uh, key subject in our life and it's a very uh, good, uh, as all of us we know it's good for brain okay it develops skills like problem solving skills reasoning skills analytical critical thinking skills rational thinking skills it uh, helps us to understand the time management. Every career uses mathematics, whether it could be architecture, engineering, poet, even the poets, finance related occupations, artists, traders, musicians, chefs, tailoring, mason, major, everybody in the uh, in their career cannot live without mathematics. So to that extent, the important subject and it is being dealt very uh, in a very uh, sad, uh, in a, not in a, in a very actively manner, Probably the students lose interest over the over the time. Uh, the subject also helps to save the money and it develops values like utilitarian value, the cultural values. We understand the uh, uh, aesthetic sense the 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 subject has. When you draw a design, you see to that if it's symmetric, it looks more uh, aesthetic. If it is not symmetric, you may find it little uh, uh, vague also sometimes. So it also develops certain aesthetic sense. It develops to. Uh, look into the, understand the utilitarian value and more other values are also inculcated to the mathematics. So now we will be seeing that whenever a child, whenever learning place is taking place, each one of us has generates our own rules and mental models, which we use to make sense of our experiences. Even if, even the child of two year old, when the child of two years is learning the language, it sees to that in what way the best he can or how he or she can, a child can make a sentence of, from it. So whatever the words that they are on, on all of a sudden one day, the, the child starts speaking the, the words like uh, the, the sentences of two words, then three words. And then initially grammatically, the child may not be correct, the, but the parents are there who help them to uh, correct it grammatically also. And sometimes uh, they, uh, they come with the some uh, means I have experienced my when my child was learning the language lots of things they were using their knowledge it's not that we have poured it but they were uh, uh, observing they were constantly uh, uh, listening to whatever the, the language that you are speaking to them for uh, almost for two years and then all of a sudden they start speaking which sometimes may be clear may not be clear so don't consider that the students are just come with the blank as blank slits. Learning, therefore, is simply a process of adjusting our mental models to accommodate new experiences. We go on adding the new experiences and the child, uh, the child starts learning. Even the learning is taking place with us also. It's not that only child, it's related to the child. Even we are learning every day uh, and after the, with the online learning, with the online, uh, uh, with the e-learning, then Moodles, every day, even we as adults are learning. Even we are uh, 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 the teachers, we have to get adjusted with the new, new, new things, but the previous experience is of course helping us. Sometimes it hinders us also, but that doesn't mean the learning stops. Learning goes on, uh, con continuously is taking place. So learning is a search for meaning. Therefore learning must start with the issues around which the students are actively trying to construct the meaning. Uh, assessment of learning is integrated within the learning within the learning context. 
context itself so uh, even when you evaluate the uh, evaluate doing the evaluation of the learning it is nothing but the integration within the learning means in which situation you are taking the learning is taking place that is also most important yeah, when you are evaluating the of our child's learning so let us learn about the constructivism who are the pioneers who have uh, uh, little about the theory then we will see what are the various lesson plans related to it and how to design a uh, lesson plan using the constructivist step uh so the constructivism let us uh, the word is coined and by many uh, you know, psychologists are there and educationists are there the, but the let us understand the meaning as the word constructivism that means the it is the construction okay construction of what so construction of knowledge so let us understand the uh, again constructivist learning theory what it says it says that individuals construct their own knowledge of the world through the uh, through experiencing this reflecting or and reflecting on those experiences so experience is most important or the base of any constructivism uh, and whenever we are talking about the constructivism learning is personal interpretation of experience uh, learning is active collaborative and situated in the real world context that means we are constantly absorb observing absorbing trying to mold ourselves so it's not a single day that where the learning doesn't take place every day is a experience every day uh, learning is an experience even using mobile mobile apps using some uh, uh, new uh, uh, technology related concepts this is every day the learning is taking place sometimes we are uh, scared in, like our generation is little scared to uh, 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 immediately take any action on the app or any or uh, technology any device rather but uh, the young generation they direct Directly pounce upon it, and they do not uh, even bother. Key whether what would be its side effects, what would happen if I use this. They directly start. I mean, they literally jump into. It. They are not bothered about that. The, the device will be uh, maybe dysfunction will will be dysfunctioned or something. Uh, some error will take place, but they are not bothered. But we, our generation probably, we are learning. Uh, even learning, but we are little scared. before uh, putting our ideas we, we are little scared ki whether if i uh, press this particular button whether it will be correct or otherwise it will create an error so constantly our mind is uh, it means uh, uh, mind is uh, working for that and learning uh, so uh, we are with the learning in the situation uh, situated in the real world context sometimes it is a problem based learning problems occur and we start learn Uh, the learning also takes place is more effective when a student is actively engaged in the learning process instead of receiving knowledge passively so in the that diagram which i showed you in the uh, where the child is constantly being poured i mean the information is uh, transferred to his uh, brain but whether the child is actively uh, ac ac accepting is or just passively accepting and forgetting it. that is not we are not bothered so that is not the correct way a uh, student students learning builds upon the knowledge that the students already know so again the uh, as i told you as i started with the example that the students are aware about the uh, words about the languages but they are uh, they are building their knowledge which already they know and they try to construct the frame the sentences in their own ways so this is nothing but the constructivist learning theory and these are the uh, pioneers that we have uh, Uh, the first is uh, all of us are aware that john dewey though he has not coined this word as constructivism but he was very much of the idea that uh, mind is means of transforming reorganizing reshaping accepted the meanings and values a means of attending to the live lived lived situations of life that means uh, whenever john dewey is talking about the uh, uh, he talks about the pragmatism he is always says that that mind is not like once the any concept is in your uh, is uh, learned it's not the full and final you may uh, transform the knowledge you may reorganize it reshape it as per your own abilities as per your own skills competencies etc so that is very important that each child is a all of us uh, all of us we know that each child is unique there are individual differences and each child has diff uh, different capacity and uh, pace of learning is also uh, varied for from child to child so we uh, john john whenever john do he says about the mind uh, uh, is a means of transforming which is very 
true and it is constantly we are living with the situation, the reconstruction and reorganization. Uh, then Jean Piaget, he believed that the humans uh, learn through the construction of one logical structure after the another was based on his view of psychological development of child. And he is also very much concerned about the uh, developmental stages of child and how each developmental stage is uh, making a difference and the child is, uh, or the individual is developing his knowledge. Lev Weigert's Weigertsky, where he talks about he talks about the uh, zone of proximal develop uh, 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 proximal development. He also says that the child, the children solve problems beyond their actual developmental level, but within their level of potential development under the adult guidance or in collaboration with more capable peers. Sometimes the child has that does not have that ability to. Uh, graph certain things, but if the helping hand is given, if somebody's help, uh, somebody is assisting the child, someone is uh, 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 helping them to grow ahead or put step ahead, then the child may develop his potential. Then the child may grasp it, the child may learn it, but child may take its own pace. But the child needs some helping hand during that stage. If that helping hand is not made available at the right time, probably the child may not take that step ahead. The child may reverse uh, revert that. <coughs> then we have J Jerome Brenner, who is, uh, he also talks about the learning was an active social process in which students construct their new ideas or concerns based on their current, current knowledge. Okay, the child, we are living in the society. So, uh, J, uh, Brunner is talking about the social constructivism and not the individual constructivism. So, the constructivist theory is used, uh, is also known as a theory of learning. It can be used as a theory of teaching. It can be used as theory of education. The constructivism is also used as a theory of origin of ideas, theory of both personal knowledge and scientific knowledge, and education's version of ground, grand unified theory. So, that is why the constructivism in the in the 21st century uh, uh, or the de in the 90s decade it has started taking place in the uh, in our uh, um, even in the, in the in the education field and also we have started applying its uh, the concept of constructivism and in 2005 rather uh, we have the uh, 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 the theory, the, the curriculum, national curriculum framework was based on the constructivist approach only. And in now the national policy of education 2020 is also taking, uh, uh, using this basic concept of constructivism before designing the entire policy. That, that the child constructs its own knowledge. The child is not a blank slate. So constructivism is based on the idea that all knowledge is constructed based on the previous experiences. Okay, all of us have come uh, come in the class, all of us enter in the class with some experiences. It may be good, it may be okay, it may be uh, sad, it may be bad, but some experiences definitely we have which helps us to develop our knowledge. So knowledge is constructed based on the previous experiences. Now tell me about this figure. Just, uh, just read this or uh, the figure uh, the points in this figure and you may comment on it you may say something on it uh, more learning takes place by doing by rather than just being a passive hero okay okay someone says also stopping uh, here, ma'am, the two different methods have been mentioned, like passively, uh, what a person is doing, reading or hearing, uh, without giving uh, the stimulus, active stimulus to the brain. Correct. Uh, and in the active ones, here, giving a talk or either demonstration or debate or discussions, whatever the whatever the topics may be, the students need to get active and. Uh, Response to the stimuli of the brain and involved in the involved in the, whatever the conversation or the active participation is taking place. Very right, very right. So What about the ten percent, twenty percent? What do you think? What is that? The left side of the triangle. It's a is... percentage of uh, learning okay. that occurs in the classroom or during the teaching learning process. Okay, so when when we uh, when we start of the base of this triangle, we can see that the the students are very highly active 
when we moving to the doing the real things or simulations or dramas or talks discussions and also things but as we move right now you are also passive you are not uh, uh, to that extent active because i am myself only talking to the one side maybe the limitation of technology but i am seeing to that the dialogues will at least take place but there are certain limitations of course but it can be made interactive you have probably exposed to the ideas of how the online learning can be made interactive we will see to that also and we will uh, discuss the few links also i will share with you so seeing on location watching demonstration looking at pictures watching movie all these are the passive where the level of involvement of the students is very passive okay and we are highly active when we are actually doing things we are talking we are discussing we are participating we are attending the seminar we are the at the center and the things are revolved around us then we are more our involvement is very high and to the left side we can see that we remember only 10% when we are reading or uh, when we are reading, reading we are remembering 20% when we are hearing words but we are uh, remembering more that is 30% when we are looking at exhibition or watching movie looking at pictures we remember many things from our movies even we have seen at the uh, in our childhood days still we remember few movies and some scenes very vividly because it has its 30% impact but when we actually do actually watch the demonstrations or when we actually participate in the discussion or give talk talk we remember more and 90% is when we are highly involved or actively doing the work so these are the things which are involved with the uh, 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 involvement and what we remember so as a teacher when we are engaging the students more in the activity type of work then the definitely the uh, the things will be different so uh, so general steps of constructive teaching process are start with the learner's prior knowledge that is where the learner is use children's range of understanding to further understand for example the students are aware of the concept of half but the so you cannot directly start in the class that what is half and all those things but uh, you can uh, definitely now see this picture Take a little. Am are you on mute by any chance? Can you hear me? So these are the diagrams, okay? and they have to complete the half part of it so you can start with the concept of half is half with the simple diagrams probably and the students love to do that even the seven older students of seven standard because by the time the students reach to seven standard the concepts related to fractions are already covered but still they are not very much sure about it so these simple activities probably help them to go and understand about the concept half and then you can uh, do the paper folding activities the sometimes the students uh, uh, the when you give a, a a square shaped paper and just ask the students to make it into two equal parts usually the students fold it half uh, uh, in a, into half by horizontally or uh, vertically but very few students even the very few students rather when i was teaching in the school school the students have very rarely used to make the uh, square into half diagonal diagonal folding was very rarely observed so the, when these two things come that this is also half this is also half and diagonally also these triangles are half everyone has half by value half then tell me how these two can be proved as equal so that is a challenge so constructivism gives this idea of putting them as a challenge and put them certain challenging things ki how you will prove it not immediately but later on so students go in there uh, probably they uh, in the incubation process and they start thinking ki, yes that is also true that this shape was half this is and that uh, the diagonal shape even in the, in the triangular form was also half so how would i prove that get these two things are equal so the students and yes the students come out with a uh, uh, very uh, intellectual answers not in immediately in that class but after the next two three days or sometimes in the uh, during the entire process 
the students really come out with the answers. So help the progression through a process of orientation, elicitation, the restructuring and application. So you can you go with the, the, you can increase their level of thinking at the higher order. So higher order thinking is very much required when we, whenever we go with the constructive step. So first we start with the learner's prior knowledge that is where the learner is. Use children's range of understanding to further understanding. Help progression through a process of orientation, elicitation, restructuring, and application. Then design the bridges to take the learner to the desired point through the careful targeted questions. Now our concern is not the uh, only or uh, teach the basic level. We are supposed to teach them to the, uh, the more concepts related to uh, uh, related to mathematics and maybe it may be the triangle go with the simple concept of triangle and then later on you go to the properties of triangle or properties of some uh, shapes are there and so you can bridge the, the bridge you design the bridges to take the learner to the desired point use different forms of active learning such as cooperative learning group work and team projects and this is very much important even in the crowded classes even in the crowded classes the uh, you can make the groups means uh, when i you i uh, tried this constructivism uh, constructivist approach of teaching in the regular classrooms it's not that the uh, that i have to leave the uh, make the children to get up from their places and uh, uh, form a circle like that even in the rectangular benches ask two students to turn themselves and make group of two without changing their places also just make the students to turn their uh, play, uh, I mean the front uh, two benches combine them and two will face two will turn themselves and sit them in the four, four will sit together so like that you can show, you can uh, plan your uh, group work also cooperative learning and uh, team projects also encourage students to the next step that is fifth step encourage the students to explore the ideas themselves for this design and organize situation in which ideas can be discussed without fear and ridicule now in the constructivism mind you the students should not be discouraged at any point they should not be threatened at any point or whatever the ideas come that it should not be uh, they should not be feel embarrassed in the class they, they should not be ridiculed or unnecessarily they should, they should be uh, uh, what to say, uh, so that the uh, make, make them more nervous in the classrooms. It should be fearless classroom, it should be very open minded and the teacher should also appreciate the ideas by the of the students. So this is the traditional classroom typically the as per the behaviorism it is looks like the now what do you see here? Tell me what is the traditional classroom means? Uh, Ma'am, normal chalk uh, black and wood method. Like the teacher, like, the, uh, teacher is the only, uh, uh, only students, so, are passive, students are passive listeners, basically. Yes, students are sitting and is observing the teacher, whether they are learning, whether they are listening carefully, whether they are attending, whatever she is saying, that is not ensured. But this is the test. So here only the uh, children and uh, uh, the teacher decides an important knowledge and skills to be transferred. The, the teacher instructs the children children respond, may not respond, then teacher assesses and reinforces, then again the response is there and again the, this process goes on and on. So this is the typical classroom where we can see the situation where the, the teacher is at the, uh, 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 is a very important or the key person and the activities are also teacher centered. So then in the, in the but in the constructive classroom though we we are not uh, make them sit on the ground but we can as i told you in this type of classroom also you can ask the children to uh, they, even they are sitting in this way uh, usually nowadays this uh, long benches are not there but two two uh, the where the students can uh, sit in either three or two make them sit in the but uh, the, ask them to sit uh, to turn themselves and sit in a group like four make a group of four so likewise also can be done and uh, where the child and adult as per the Jerem, uh, as per the uh, whatever the uh, Jean Piaget is talking about the cognitive constitution where the child and adult together they are the area of work and activity, uh, activity are negotiated. The, the experiences are provided in the classroom, the students make sense and the evaluation takes place. But of you, I got this social constructivism talks about where the children and adult working together, activity and discussion takes place, 
support and instruction the, is there, definitely there. And ZPD, that is zone of proximal development. Where, development. Okay, where the helping hand is given to the student if the child has, uh, is not uh, com uh, enough com competent to understand, child is not to that extent intelligent to understand or probably uh, lacking with some experiences and that is why I may not be co coping up with the answers. So we can support and in, uh, give the instructions, then again activity and discussion and this process goes on and on and the evaluation can be done. The evaluation again, there are various ways of evaluating the students. Uh, we will discuss how the evaluation also can take place. Uh, in a in a difference. So, what is the difference between the traditional classroom and the constructive classroom? Where the let us understand that in the traditional classroom, the sorry, uh, students sit in the rows, while the uh, constructive classroom students sits in groups or not in not necessarily in circles, but they sit in groups. The teacher's voice is loudest in the traditional classroom, where the constructive classroom the teacher's role is like a facilitator. But the students are more engaged, more discussed, uh, involved in the discussion and activities. The emphasis is on correct answer and uh, uh, in the constructive approach, the students' points of views are also appreciated. The students are assumed that they are blank slates. They come in the class without having no knowledge, zero knowledge, but, uh, and that is the uh, assumption by the teachers. And so they go on pouring, that is wrong. But the students are thinkers, they have the previous experiences, they are knowledgeable, they have the abilities, they are competent enough. That is the uh, respecting the student is also involved in the constructive classroom here, uh, are designed. Uh, tradition, the cl traditional classroom, all, all, all the students do the same thing. Everyone is doing uh, following the teacher's instruction, but in the constructive classroom, classrooms, the different activities are designed and the students are probably doing the different things simultaneously. A traditional classroom teacher is Ma'am, you are on mute. Fine, sorry. The so teacher is in teacher in front in the uh, traditional classroom, while in the constructive classroom, the teacher is constantly moving, observing, monitoring the students. Teacher in the uh, is the only source that is the assumption of the teacher while the teacher is a facilitator and there are multiple resources and uh, the knowledge can be gained from the multiple resources and she is not the only person who is a, who is providing the knowledge. So here the uh, tests uh, are, uh, are used for evaluation and the product is, uh, is the concept of evaluation while in the constructivist classroom, no grades or tests continuous um, uh, are there. Uh, the tests uh, are based on the continuous comprehensive and evaluation that is CC. And not only the product is evaluated, but process is also evaluated during the in the constructivist classroom. So process is also important in the uh, uh, and given the emphasis in the constructivist classroom. Uh, till now, anybody has any doubts? You may please uh, ask. Anything which is not clear, anything which is so that I can proceed further. Uh, Dr. Ashwini, I had yes. one question. You know, yes, yes. I have this question related to constructivism. Yes. You yes. said that knowledge is based on the previous experiences. Sorry. So now whatever activity I'm giving to the child, Sorry. now uh, don't you think the previous experience will limit the child from... Uh, you yes. know, developing the knowledge. May, it may, yes, it may limit uh, the child to uh, some extent, but it's not. Uh, the, here, the teacher's role is uh, giving more experience. So, whatever the knowledge uh, that they may have, probably the uh, since the teacher is observing the students also, she may realize that this child is lacking somewhere. So, she may provide them more experiences, or probably while grouping also, she will ensure that the child will be in a uh, right group and the, they may share their experiences. That's what I understand. I mean, uh, that can be done even if they have a limitation uh, related to the experiences. The varied experiences may enrich uh, the students' experiences. I hope uh, is the is it clear or is it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, so one more. Uh, joke rather uh, so while i appreciate the this is just uh, what you say the brain uh, i mean to make you more active uh, uh, remain with the class so while i appreciate 
appreciate the idea that united we stand divided we fall you still need to learn this okay so this is the role of usually in the traditional classroom the teachers are more concerned about whether so somehow the child is not told that this this division is important in uh, uh, important concept and this has been used or it is may not be related to their day to day life that's why the child is confused child is not interested child is bored and child is shocked also to some extent ki what is what is happening in the class so division is a good is a is a wonderful concept and how it can be well used okay but uh, the 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 tone of the teacher you can always, you can see that this is uh, negatively she is trying to emphasize that you have to learn okay so uh this is the traditional teacher probably so basic uh, principles of constructivism are learning is as we may be repetition also uh, i may skip also you may uh, uh, if you feel that it's a repetition uh, but learning is not passive receptive process but instead an active meaning making process learning at its base involves conceptual knowledge learning is always subjective and personal learning is situated or contextualized learning is social learning is affective the nature of learning task is crucial learning is strongly influenced by the learner's development and learning at its best involves metacognition the reflecting about one's learning throughout the entire learning process that means that meta here the again the concept of metacognition says that the child child knows what he a child uh, is uh, is aware of what he knows child knows about what he knows that is the metacognition that he knows what he knows about it. so he he is looking at himself or herself and or judging herself or evaluating herself about the knowledge that this is my limitation this is much i only i know but i don't know more than that that is the metacognition so all of us we are like the way we judge ourselves that i am not good in uh, particular languages i am not good in uh, music or i am not i don't have that uh, uh, inclination towards a particular subject that is what we judge ourselves so that is nothing but the knowing about uh, knowledge and thinking about the thinking that is all comes uh, comes under the metacognition so learning at its best involves metacognition and reflecting about one's learning throughout the entire learning process so here the child gets the probably gets the uh confidence when the more actively is made uh, engaged in the activities and uh, or uh, some uh, creative work and the child develops its confidence level also uh, sorry this is done uh, some the so some more concept so these are the diagram tangram activities are there you can explain the concepts like areas concepts the properties of triangle the properties of square the properties of rectangles and its relation to each other the tangram are well, the uh, activities are uh, very much uh, uh, the the blocks are also may, uh, available i mean the things are available and you can use in the classrooms and uh, ask them to with these shapes even you can uh, 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 explain the concepts related to the various shapes and their properties okay and its relationship even the rhombus and all those shapes are also available in the uh, when you buy a tangram set now virtually also they are made available there are certain some uh, some uh, examples even you can give the related to if you want to these are the two chocolates how i can divide them equally among five people how much share will each person get so this is the way they know they are already uh, as uh, dr vini they are already aware about the divide them means suppose there are five student i mean i am having one chocolate how will i divide it among five so how will i make them equal and the students are very much concerned i mean the children are very much concerned ki sabko equal milna chahiye so how will you do how will you resolve this issue with the two chocolates among five people four people four with four it's very easy but with five people how do you do that okay so here the concept comes like mixed fractions or the uh, uh, You, you may draw the you may divide this shape both the shapes pi pi and each one will get two shape two uh, parts and thus the problem can be resolved so such simple problems can be given uh, and lead to the discussions and not only this chocolates but other shapes also nowadays uh, uh, pizzas are there and so many breads and all those things are there donuts people go with lots of examples so you can try with that also and uh, design your own questions based on that then somewhere you can uh, compare or uh, comparison of fractions can be also done then there is a uh, uh, these types of mixtures these are the, the probable solutions prepared by the students then you can ask which recipe will make the juice orangey 
which recipe will the least orangey all those things concepts and then further to the higher order thinking you can put a last question which few uh, may, maybe everyone may not be able to solve but few definitely may can attempt to solve such questions uh, so these are the few examples i will also uh, go with the links and we will also see the online examples uh, now so in, basically in the constructive classroom the teaching strategies is, is uh, our strategies are basically even it's a it's a whole class teaching but besides that it's a problem based learning or brain based learning it is activity based learning the strategy which can be used as a group cooperative learning strategies can be employed in the constructive classroom because uh, constructivism talks about more uh, use emphasis on uh, learning together learning in the social uh, setup and when, when you learn in the groups you, the knowledge is more uh, strengthened and uh, so make use of uh, collaborative learning cooperative learning or group learning peer tutoring child to child learning is also another concept where the you can divide them into the uh, groups uh, by based on their abilities uh, and a few metacognitive strategies can also be employed for in the constructive class so these are the few cooperative learning strategies uh, and more than that they are available one strategy strategy jigsaw rally coach team pair solo four corners fishbowl strategy think pair and share so all these strategies and uh, even co more uh, more than these strategies are there uh, only you have, it's your desire to make use of all these cooperative learning strategies and uh, make them work more activity based rather than just teacher centered but now in the technology world we have also the uh, blended learning or flip classroom where you are a, a, you can involve the students using the uh, the devices that are available and you can make uh, use concepts like flip classroom where this whatever the devices that the students have and teachers have and you can make use of the concept of blended learning and here the, again the students are made students are engaged they are actively involved some projects can be given where the students will explore in, they can do the researches, uh, the, they can uh, come out with the, uh, also discourage them not to just go for copy paste things. So, but besides that, give them such activities or assignments where the students will make use of their own uh, uh, ideas or their own comments on each of the activities or uh, assignments that are give, given by. There is a concept in the, that is known as the gamification. Anyone has heard about it? What is the gamification? Uh, it is a concept where the, actually it is not a game based learning gamification is a, a element of game is added in the regular teaching learning. okay that means giving uh, encouraging them by giving some badges or reward or some cups or something with points grades so uh, where you will constantly motivating the students okay here the games are not there here it's not it's different than the game based learning but this is this concept of gamification can be introduced even in the maths class and uh, in the lower classes or rather in the elementary classes the concept like stars and all they uh, they make a chart and uh, star for the week uh, star child of the week star child of the month something like that they do and they add that element of motivating the children okay so that is known as the gamification then there are concepts like mobile learning and e-learning we have used during the uh, uh, lockdown also. Then we have sim simulations and virtual learning and online also. So this is a technology world where again the constructivism is 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 a uh, at its root and you can actively uh, make them uh, uh, busy and engage them even in the online learning. So uh, this is what about the gamification. Now these links are there. Shall I uh, drop them in the uh, uh, sh uh, in the chat box? And you would like to explore, or shall I explore from the area directly, Doctor Vini? What should I do? Uh, can you put it in the chat, please? <coughs> okay. Uh, uh, so these are the some of the manipulatives for distance learning, and there is also a, a wonderful free app that is GeoGebra, which can be used in the uh in your classrooms and teach lots of concepts so i'll just uh, share the link in the chat box let me come out yeah. i'll also uh, show you in the um, So 
So let us see what this is here. And lots of uh, activities are there. You may also explore later on, but now you can say this is a free online uh, manipulative for distance learning. And you can see it's a, it's a you, it's an ocean and it's clear. Anybody can use in the, uh, in your classes. Uh, you may choose any, any of these concepts like decimal strips, for example, and there are so many things are there. Uh, you can even uh, there at this is not only at the elementary level but even at the higher level also there are uh, there are uh, what you can say the uh, lots of manipulatives are there for example uh, if I which just let me know tell me which uh, eight I eighth should, grade eight grade where is that eight grade. Is there a sound we can't hear, huh, Dr. Ashwini? Uh, okay, then I don't know. So let us, uh, uh, there, are, there was a sound. So you can explore independently. I'll just show you one uh, one of the games where you, these are the strips where this is, suppose this is an, uh, this is 100% and how I can make 50% plus 50% and then uh, uh, 40, 30, 30 or 25. And 12.5. Not only what should be there, which is, is it there? Can I make it? No, if it is not, then 12.5%. Then what shall I I'll, will remove this? I will put this. Okay, so something like that. So this can be used and different different concepts. Then there are there is also uh, somebody wanted uh, related to statistics. So lots of things are uh, there. Mm -hmm. Then the, as I told you, tangram activity is there. These are the various triangles. These are the various shapes, and you can create. Uh, these are these these are online also, and these are offline also. Then again, there are teacher tools are available. Then, okay, so you can create your tests. Okay, you can create the related to division and start. You can give this kind of work. Okay, you can create your own tests. Then let's come to the, then there are games, there are puzzles, there are even, even it's not only related to maths, even the arts and literature is also covered in this particular app. See here, here you can see the various shapes and animations, there. the cube is there. Okay, and then you can, you can pull it. You can rotate it. Okay. You can duplicate it. You can stretch. Ma'am, what is the name of the website? Can you? I have given the, uh, the website. I have just uh, given the link okay. in the chat box. Okay, the same link. Yeah, same. Same, okay. same. 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 So this can be uh, interactively used in the class. And uh, again, it's, uh, uh, there are uh, various polygons. You can choose this and then you can uh, start this. So it goes on doing it. Okay. Some spin tables are there. You can explore it. It's a, it's a user. It's an, it's an ocean. Only. But the interesting fact I'll show you about this particular. Uh, where is that? Uh, one methagon is also there. Uh, okay, there is a mass boat. Uh, there is a, there are, uh, see, these are, these are various shapes are there. And you can just uh, see how this, sorry. Uh, suppose I choose a shape, hexagon. Then I can cut this shape, okay. I can cut it and make two parts. Then I can uh, unfold also. Suppose um, volume one is there. No, wait. Um, flip, cut. Then I can join them. Then I can delete if I want. I don't want this. So lots of things. Yeah. There is one concept known as. 
Uh, but ma'am, uh, geometry, geometrical aspects are uh, very much there yeah. through the activities. What about the algebra part? If you yes, yes, I'll show you GeoGebra. This is unfold. Okay. I can unfold it. So I can take any shape. I can unfold it. Okay. So. Isn't it? So this can be, this can be related to their day-to-day -day life. It's mathy gone, no? Uh, it's a mathy. In that only it is a, the, uh, you can explore, you can go scroll down and you can see the mathy gone is there. Where you can see the shapes are uh, there and you can unfold them. So students understand this concept. Then you can separately, you can explain these things. If you don't want so many uh, things cluttered, you may delete the shape, all those things. There are lots of options are there. You can go on exploring it. And of course, you it is a the whole idea is that you have to engage the students. Now, this is related to geometry. Lots of things are there, as somebody has said. Yes, I agree. But there are uh, there is uh, also a concept known as uh, GeoGebra is there where you can go on. Uh, there are, you can see to the left side, data handling and statistics is also there. Then collection of individual worksheets are there. Okay. Then what do you want uh, from here? You can draw the graphs. Even normal distribution can be explained through using this. Okay. Cumulative frequency graph and go on giving the sample size and try with the number of the mean and SDs. All those simple concepts can be also dealt, I mean, statistics related concepts. Yes, yeah, so from algebra, what do you want? Uh, uh, somebody wanted some add. Ma'am, if you want the college topics like differentiation or derivatives, so- is Yes, it, yes, uh, they, are, they are dealt in this particular GeoGebra. You just explore this. This is free of cost, it's uh, available. Here, the concepts like probability with area, all those these are there, you can, uh, even the slopes, okay. Uh, the uh, what is this? Uh, the the two coordinate geometry I had seen there somewhere it is. You can see to the left side all these options, and statistics on. You can involve the students. There are uh, activity based uh, uh, modules over here, and. You can ask the students here and go on giving the data, students go on adding it. Okay. And then you, how the histograms are formed. Okay. Even the explanation of this particular, you if you want to, I'll give you 15 minutes. You can explore it independently. I'll show you the uh, one more link. I'll this uh, link I will share. You can take 10, 10 minutes. Uh, Dr. Vinny, is it allowed or should I continue? No, and then uh, no we, we don't have much time. They can uh, they can do it at home. Okay, okay. So uh, I'll share this also in the chat box. Yeah. So you can explore. These are free of cost and uh, active participation of the students can be uh, 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 can be uh, done uh, you can uh, do it using online learning you can do it using uh, offline learning also you can give them uh, assignment based on that and geogebra is fantastic even in the educoms and nowadays in most of the schools educoms are installed so you can help you can take the help of these educoms and uh, uh, to uh, and use these links especially geogebra and uh, where uh, where uh, the coordinate geometry and simultaneous equations, even the algebra related equations can be, uh, uh, even the graphs like waves, even physics, chemistry can also. Physics, I have I had uh, worked with that physics, uh, simple harmonic motion, the waves, how do they look, how the lambda looks, how the negative things, uh, uh, to the negative side, the waves comes, how the, to the positive, in the up, above the x-axis, below the x-axis, uh, left to the y-axis. All those things are very well explained using this uh, both these uh, links. Okay, so basically the instructional core. That means our uh, concern is that students should be engaged at large. The content uh, should be of relevant content should be uh, uh, 
should be uh, probably given to the students. The teacher should be able to use its her knowledge and skill how to deal and you know, manage the lesson plans. So task is what students are actually doing. So this help will help us to uh, the learner will become uh, should become more. Our concern is basically to make them confident, responsible, reflective, and innovative and engaged. So how to prepare a lesson plan? Now, uh, uh, how many minutes, uh, Doctor Vinu, we have? Yeah, we you have around five minutes more. You can uh, conclude by then. Okay. So the there are certain you need more time, Doctor Shwini. Sorry, you need more time. No, I was thinking of giving this uh, lesson plan, but uh, uh, if the time limit is there, then I will just proceed how it looks. The form of yeah, yeah. Plan. Please, please give the lesson plan also. So the form of unit planning, you may of course bring the modification in this, but uh, you can design the uh, unit. Uh, uh, for example, if, if you are teaching the simultaneous situation, what is the unit goal? What are the activity objectives? So you can again bifurcate them again to make it into uh, uh, smaller units. You can uh, pose the problems. You can give the real life situation. The knowledge source. Now here the knowledge source. It is a factual knowledge, conceptual knowledge, or procedural or metacognitive knowledge. Again, it is based on the concept related to the uh, Bloom's revised taxonomy. Then which knowledge dimensions you are using? Cognitive process dimension. Then the materials and so likewise you can design your uh, uh, lesson plan. So knowledge, as I told you, cognitive process here, again, Bloom's taxonomy or revised Bloom's taxonomy talks about the remember, understand, apply, analyze. So you can prepare your entire lesson plan using this particular educational outcomes or objectives and you can prepare a, a, a lesson plan. So this is all, this all of you know, what is this revised Bloom's taxonomy? And you can uh, uh, design accordingly and see to that higher order thinking will develop through your activity. It should not be at the lower level, just playing games and all that is not the activity, but how they will lead will be led to the higher order thinking that is our concern. That should be the concern. So create an effective <laughs> class opener, you use multiple representations, see to that, then, um, Gardner's uh, intelligence theory can be very well uh, utilized. Use varieties of ways solving a single problem. It's not the only in one way you can give the solution. Give a number of varieties of ways to solve the problems. Make connections to the real life or and also to the other subjects. Uh, ask them to draw a concept plan. Now this is a concept plan drawn by created by me when I was doing my uh, uh, PhD work. So parts of whole can be defined. So fraction can be defined as parts of whole. Fraction can be expressed in number. So it is connected to these are the concepts. Parts of whole, parts are equal. Numerator and denominator. Then percentage, decimal number, rational. So a fraction, a single concept like fraction can be connected to the various other cons concepts also. And they are very much important to the to understand the further related to geometry or algebra or even their day-to-day -day life. So you can use maths and, uh, maths and arts using that website, web links also, or you may uh, take charts in the class or you may ask them to draw uh, something uh, very aesthetic uh, type of things. Make maths puzzles, communicate reasoning, revise, restate and reason out and finish with the summary. That is very important. You have to finish uh, whatever you are doing it, make a closure to it. So then assessment again, instead of just Paper, pencil, paste, use various assessment graphic organizers. There are multiples, more than this are available. Rubric, no, no, uh, uh, KWL chart, concept map, network tree, star diagrams, spider maps, many are there. Create your own rubrics. Nowadays, there are no rubrics, ka, uh, links, uh, you, uh, you can create your own rubrics. There are websites which are available where you can create your own rubrics as per your de uh, demand. So, so classroom management organization is very much easy, I would say, and students are really uh, enjoy. Students really enjoy in the classrooms. So, make decentralized learning environment make a be a manager in the class group formation plan and organization of group task tasks placement of group allocate the time and monitor it uh, uh, very 
group. What you say, purposeful monitoring is very much required. Class discipline is automatically uh, taken care because you are uh, you're giving certain responsibility to them. You are empowering them. You are also motivating them through rewards or some creative work. And so the social discipline is automatic. And even if they are making noise in the class, not noise, uh, discussion in the class, do not label it as noise. Just tell them their students are, uh, they do understand the other classes will get disturbed because of your talking, but make them understand the, the noise will be in the control, that whatever the discussion that you are uh, uh, conducting for them will be in control. You just observe it, they are not, uh, uh, they are, they do not make a nuisance in the class. Let me tell you. So benefits, they are knowledge, their students enjoy learning, thinking and understanding is developed, exchange of ideas are there, better retention and transfer of knowledge to real life. The, the, the ideas are articulated, social and communication skills are developed. There will, there is a negotiation, collaboration. There will be ownership also, and students are stimulated and engaged with, uh, 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 Engage, they remain engaged, they learn to question and use the natural curiosity. So the role of teacher basically is modeling, coaching, scaffolding, articulation, reflection, and exploration. So here, here, you first you will set the example, you will coach them, you will help, scaffold means you will help them, you will not uh, directly uh, give the uh, ideas to them, but you will help them to de develop the ideas. Uh, you will articulate the things which will till they get the mastery over it. You will ask them to reflect, to ask them to maintain the reflection diaries. You will also reflect where you went wrong. And the constructivism is not a, like, uh, again, as I told you, the, though the out, outline is given for the lesson plan, but lesson plans are not very much for uh, uh, typically uh, 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 typically made because constructivism also gives the, has that idea that the discussion of previous class will be led to the next, uh, next uh, teaching. Okay, so previous discussion, you stop it there and continue with that discussion, whatever the, where you have stopped in the last class, go with the next class uh, in a, with that same discussion and then it will be the, the, the things will be automatically uh, linked to each other. And then the exploration, give the ideas of exploration. There are certain constructivism models, that is 5E model of constructivism is also there. You can use that model also. Uh, now, there are certain um, uh, effective suggestions to empower the teacher effectively. So use these things and so just choose last. Algebra class will be important to you in later in life because there is going to be a test uh, six weeks from now. So this is the way the teacher is usually give, um, tell, try to give the importance of mathematics, but that is not the correct way. So healthy balance between cooperative learning, whole class teaching and independent learning, that is nothing but a constructive. And this is what it looks. And this is what, who is teaching who. So everyone is teacher, peer tutoring, child to child tutoring. Everyone is teaching to each other. Not only the teacher is teaching, but everyone is teaching. Okay, so that's all for my presentation, Dr. Vini. And if you have any queries, suggestions, or questions, please you are most welcome. I request Aarti and Lalin if there are any questions to pose it here, or any participant would like to unmute and ask. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was indeed an inf informative session. Actually, there was a question like, uh, how to teach algebra in a constructive way? Uh, of course, uh, till when they come in the eighth standard or the rather seventh standard, no, six standard, the algebra uh, X and Y, they are, uh, they are supposed to. So there are, uh, if uh, models, uh, models, you can if you cannot prepare models, but nowadays, as I told you, if the educoms are there, you can use the links. Otherwise, uh, you can go with their previous knowledge of guess what and all those things. So previous knowledge is obviously there, and um, you can uh, derive your further concepts related to algebra and explain these uh, things. But at when they go at the higher level, you may say 
मे बी टेन स्टैंडर्ड और इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड सम नावर्डेज तो लॉर्ड्स ऑफ एप्स आर ऑल्सो मेड अवेलेबल सो यू कैन लिंक देम यू कैन एंगेज देम एंड यू कैन गिव देम द एक्टिविटीज बेस्ड ऑन दैट दैट्स वॉट आई I think Shali has raised her hand. Shali, you want to unmute yourself? Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, actually, I wanted to add uh, something about algebra. We can we can teach algebra through generalization of arithmetic. If we proceed like this, uh, suppose I have to make a square box and I need four uh, sticks. Then for two squares, how many? Then three squares, then four squares, and so on. When we move arithmetic. to th- for generalization to arithmetic to generalization then we yes. must need uh, some unknown quantities or some uh, for the for that numbers so we can introduce general number and particular number in the algebra not rather than of english alphabet uh, quoting them as in english alphabet there so are bo- yeah there are the boxes like here you can see the algebra can be taught here in the algebra discs are there and you can explain them using these uh, resources ma'am is mathsbot.com uh, that what you are sharing is free yeah it is free it is there i shared the link two links which are Achha, the same the same link it is same link you yeah. can just explore it हेलो we can hear you ma'am yes ma'am ah, so in th- 30 minutes uh, uh, definitely uh, uh, if uh, uh, yes yes uh, i can only your voice is wavering a bit so you can have the two continuous classes either because uh, in when i see the time table once in a week there are two regular math classes are there mm-hmm. so that ca- that class can be definitely utilized because our one hour students definitely won't be able to concentrate so definitely you plan in such a way that the students will remain engaged in through the activities so such type of interesting things if you display on the board probably they may uh, enjoy it also and uh, also they can uh, you know, what to say uh, uh, but uh, 30 minutes may also you the previous link you can take it further suppose if you have ended with some discussion for example as i told you when i was teaching to the lower the sixth standard students even they were so seventh standard students even the concept like area uh, when the students were doing paper folding that concept where they have ended with half uh, square uh, means when they folded the square sheet into two parts so that was actually solved using the concept of area how so you have to prove them that this is a rectangular shape and this is so how the area so half of uh, means you can calculate the area of triangle calculate the area of rectangle and you will come to know that the both the areas are same and that the, the square was divided into two parts whether it's diagonally or horizontal you will get the this equal uh, the uh, you can prove it that they are equal using the concept of area so that is that type of activities definitely can be given to the students and then and then here uh here there is a simulations of the area algebra models are there area model decimals are there as you are talking about this squares and all these boxes this can also be handled uh, or dealt using these uh, simulations uh viralisha also has raised the hand you can ask your question they are all free of cost no nothing when the geometry can be taught i don't know I, now it's not open but i was working on these things uh, so they have given even the youtubes are uh, videos are also there interactive simulations so i can adjust its area or the figures or i may stretch it this way 
and then I can uh, this is a, here you can see the dimensions. So this is 13 by 13. So area is this much, and all those things are there. So I can increase this dimension. Then I can calculate the area, and you can count the number of squares, or you may rotate it in this way. Okay. This link that is coming, it's in a Zenit Maths or GeoGebra? Uh, okay. Right yeah. now. Or is it a different link altogether? No, no, no. A a key link may he sub to share. A chaya PH. Link which I shared you. The link which I shared you just showed you. This first link which I shared you, Zen Zen the match. You just explore it down. Lots of things are there. And you go okay. each each okay. of this is called theater, the yeah. math learning Thank center. You. Each one you explore its ocean. It's not that only thing. Then you can even you upload your uh, work also. Then Mathigon is there. Then GeoGebra. In this also, there is a no, uh, GeoGebra is there. The coordinate geometry can be very well understood or the concepts of line and its loops and calculate the equation based on lines can be uh, taught through this. Here also the factorization and all those things. Uh, I was uh, working on this and uh, even the time uh, uh, things are there. And um, the uh, just a, a personal yes. request. Can you share your dissertation link here? I have already shared one once again. Dissertation you link. Yeah, please. Which dissertation? Your doctorate link. Your study. Ah, uh, it's on the uh, show the Ganga. You can just type my name. You will, uh -huh. you will understand. You will get the entire thesis. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, you can. Uh, there are le lesson plans also. But uh, they, the, again, I will say it's an old study. I mean, 10 years ago, the 11, 12, 12 years ago. So you may go with the latest one, whatever is happening. Because when I was doing that, I started in 2007, 2008, May, uh, and 8, 9, 10. So three years I was working on it. But now so many things have uh, updated. So many things are now changed. Technology, yeah. Technology because of technology. So you can take the ideas from technology to design your lesson. Even the lots of constructivism, okay. so I will not say you uh, just uh, stick on that particular thing. These are, uh, you may say they uh, they are absolute also to some extent, but you can develop your design your own lesson plans. The so nowadays apps are also available to prepare your own lesson plans. So go with the what national policy of education 2020 is uh, emphasizing. Go with that and design the lesson plans because. Okay. The, 2020 is telling and expecting or demanding constructivism and collaboration and everything. Lots of things and uh, they are demanding. So you go with that uh, particular uh, uh, latest, sure. not yeah. old. One. And yeah. there are resources given here, and you can create your own uh, chat. Uh, I mean, you just click on one, and you will get uh, thousands of things inside. Sure. Simple. If I go go with this. Uh, interactive clock also they will see there are so many things and this is all elementary level but still there are options and you can move this clock digital if you don't want then if you want, don't want minute hand you can play literally you can play with these things okay so then there are certain addition subtraction multiplication all these games are also there but so what I request you to go with the uh, engage the students basically using any of these things, whether you use the 3D models, whether you use offline things or online things. Basically, don't uh, underestimate uh, the students like dialogue in a Shahrukh Khan ka. Kisi common admi ko underestimate mat karo, which Chennai Express way. So similarly, don't underestimate the students and don't judge them and don't label them. You are dumb. You are. It means even in the good schools, I have seen the teachers are labeling the students. They are made them sit in the different rows. The D row, D row is known for the dumb, dumb students. And it is. so, how, who has given them the right to label the students that they are not good in certain? They may not be good in particular subject, or may not be good in academics. And is do you think academics is everything? So teachers don't label the students that they are, and uh, the other students make fun of that. That's not proper. Because uh, I experienced it and I have uh, seen uh, in my uh, my son's school, these practices are done. And uh, I really objected on that. So because under right to education, this is not allowed. You don't label our children. We have not given you the right to label our children. Sorry. Hello? Sorry. Hello? 
डॉक्टर अश्विन या डॉक्टर अश्विनी कैन बी कंक्लूड यस 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 प्लीज सो माइन फ्रॉम माई साइड एवरीथिंग इज ओवर सो जस्ट लेट मी से थैंक यू let me say thank you to all the participants for uh, listening so carefully and listening attentively and uh, wish you good luck and this is one just let me conclude this life plus love is happiness life minus love is sadness but two times life so using simultaneous equation concept love love gets cancelled then two times life is happy plus sad so life is 50 plus happy plus sad divided by two. So fifty percent happiness and fifty percent sadness. So that's the real life. So enjoy it. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Vini and the Saint Xavier's Institution for giving me this opportunity to present uh, on this particular topic. Over to Vini, Dr. Vini. Uh, okay, over to uh, Sanika and Neeral. Every time we do a small research, Dr. Ashwini. and yes. i also request all the participants to wait and not ask for the feedback form now yes. uh, we are presenting few questions and over to sanika and neeran okay good evening everyone before we begin with the presentation let us first understand what is meant by the term conceptual understanding in the context of mathematics the term conceptual understanding refers to a comprehensive and practical grasp of mathematical concepts children who understand conceptual con concepts are aware of more than isolated facts and methods they comprehend why a mathematical concept is significant and how it can be applied in a various situations they organize the knowledge in a logical structure that allows them to learn new concept by connecting them to what they already know conceptual understanding entails teaching children not only how to do something but also why they should do it through conceptual understanding children can see the bigger picture that underlies all math topics and exercises allowing them to think in a fluid way use the mathematical skills in a various of context, variety of contexts and utilize the higher order thinking skills so our first question is uh so the first question is i work on analyzing the mathematical concepts 56% of teacher agree that they work on analyzing mathematics concepts while 27 teachers strongly agree on the same analysis means to break down the whole into parts and to examine each part analysis of mathematical concept will help the teachers to draw the connection with different concepts and even with other subjects so the second question is i design my lesson to integrate concepts 96% of teachers agree that they design their lessons to integrate concepts as mentioned above analysis helps to break down the concepts into meaningful parts and while co correlating those parts to different concepts and subjects the teachers can integrate new connections ideas and knowledge and make a meaning colorful lesson without a lesson plan student can quickly lose focus and teachers may be left scrambling thinking of what to do next so the third question is i understand the requirement of conceptual understanding in advance 58% of teachers say that they always understand and 23% teachers say that they frequently understand the requirement of conceptual understanding in advance teaching for conceptual understanding in mathematics 
enables teachers to select and structure learning around impart, important concepts. This process also provides students with conceptual framework for them to develop their own way of structuring their understanding. So the fourth question is, I adopt the inquiry-based approach to conceptual understanding. 44% of teachers say that they always adopt the inquiry-based approach to conceptual understanding. Teachers should adopt the inquiry-based approach in teaching learning process at least as it helps the potential to foster conceptual change. Inquiry-based learning entails um, discovering scientific law through the process of investigation. Thus, during the development of scientific reasoning, skills and construction of scientific knowledge, conceptual change take place. The fifth question is, I prefer an inductive approach to conceptual understanding. 47% teachers say they always prefer, prefer an inductive approach to conceptual understanding. Teachers should move towards an inductive approach for conceptual understanding since in inductive approach, concepts are generalized using examples. Thus, teachers are active participants working along with the teacher. This will help teachers in the teaching learning process of conceptual understanding. And the last question is, there are no specific methods to develop concepts in students. 50% of the teachers believe that they are specific, there are specific methods to develop concepts in students, while the remaining teachers believe there are no specific methods to develop concepts in students. Constructivist theory by Jerome Brunham, David Oswell, etc. are helping in creating strategies and methods to teach mathematical concepts. Teachers can use methods like inquiry-based approach, discovery learning, use of advanced organizers, magazines of teaching mathematics, and hands-on manipulatives for students as a way to help them develop their conceptual understanding. It also depends on the caliber and the choice of the teacher to come up with innovative and creative method and to use the appropriate method to teach a particular concept. Thank you. That's great. Very good. Thank you. I request Samantha to give feedback instructions followed by Ria to give the vote of thanks. A gentle reminder to all the participants present here Link for the feedback form will be sent in the chat box of the Zoom meeting and in the YouTube chat now. Kindly fill it to get the e-certificates. Please note that we are keeping the form open till 7.30 p.m. So all the participants are requested to fill the feedback form before 7.30 p.m. While filling the form, make sure that you enter your correct email address or the certificate will not be delivered to you. And also enter your name correctly because no changes would be done later. If you don't receive your certificate, please wait for 30 minutes and do check your spam folder. After 30 minutes, if you are still unable to get the certificates, then kindly contact any of the student coordinators regarding the issue. Thank you. As we, the students of St. Xavier's Institute of Education, are preparing ourselves for becoming future mathematics teacher, we are extremely grateful to Dr. Ashwini Harbe Karwandi, our resource person for today's webinar, for taking time out of her busy schedule and lightening the fame of knowledge within us. Thank you, ma'am, for helping us understand the different constructivist principles and constructivist teaching strategies, which will enable us teachers and mathematicians to transact mathematical concepts in an effective way. Also, thank you for highlighting the virtual manipulatives and technological facilities to enhance the teaching learning process. It was a very enriching session. We also thank our manager, Father Blaise de Souza, our principal in charge, Dr. Vini Sebastian, who is also a teacher in charge for always encouraging and supporting us to do the matches. The greater, the better, the more. I like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our student coordinators for their immense efforts in organizing and conducting this webinar. And last but not the least, we thank you all dear participants for spending your valuable time with us and making this webinar a success. By incorporating all the strategies
strategies and solutions that we learned from this webinar series, let us all strive to make a difference to the mathematics teaching learning process and drive the fear of mathematics out of our students. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwini, for coming and gracing this occasion and giving us Thanks. this valuable webinar. Thank you, Dr. Vini, for uh, inviting me and uh, made me a part of your institution also for a few time, a few, few, few minutes. Okay, I enjoyed the session, but uh, uh, and good initiative from the institution as, as usual, the SXI is always looking forward for some innovative and some creative things. And I, I would say this is one of the programs of your creations and innovation and I wish all the best and thank, you. and thank you so much once again and to the institution also. And I can see Dr. Veena ma'am is also there, Dr. Veena Deshkuk. So thank you very much ma'am for attending this webinar. You've always been very motivating. Oh, Dr. Veena, Mazi Namaskar Tumala. Kasha Hatumi. Constructivism. Thank you, madam. Really good session, Ashwini. What is the effort you have taken for the session? So that's a very good thing. Uh, Dr. Veena, I'm a guru. I have a constructivism. Yes, yes. I have a Related to constructivism. And Dr. Satyavati Rao is also. Yeah, right. actually uh, using that and she mm -hmm. has taught me so many things. How Dr. To be Rahul able... also had come for us webinar. She also had given a webinar. Yes, yes. She has also <laughs> taught me a lot when I was doing my PhD. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Manu Jawani, we can see you. His camera was on all throughout. Okay, then. Uh, so, can I just end the session, uh, Dr. Ashwini and Dr. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.